here's a clip of Trump talking at his New Hampshire rally, and it's just hilarious. Oval Office, we will totally obliterate the deep state. We will... We will establish a Truth and Reconciliation Commission to declassify and publish all documents on deep state spying, censorship, and corruption. So, I wonder what they would find out about his deep state corruption and spying when he was president. By the way, they spied on my campaign. They got caught. Can you imagine if we, let's take Barack Hussein Obama, Let's say we spied on his campaign, you got caught. What do you think would happen? You think it would just be some stories? In only a few newspapers, because most of them don't even want to write it. it would have been, they would have brought back the electric chair. That's what they would have done. So he's saying if people were, if people were caught spying on uh, would be presidential candidate Barack Obama, that the government would brought bring back the electric chair like no it's a disgrace it's a disgrace unequal justice and i will require every federal employee to pass a new civil service test how about the president let's start with the president demonstrating an understanding of our constitution to stop the local marxist prosecutors who release rapists and murderers while persecuting conservatives on day one of my new administration, I will direct the DOJ to investigate every radical district attorney and attorney general in America for their illegal, racist, in reverse enforcement of the law. Racist in reverse? Y y y do you just mean racism? Because there's no such thing as like reverse racism. It's just racism. And if he wants a test for officials, that uh, if they know the Constitution, that would automatically prevent Trump from being able to be president since he does not know the Constitution. I will quickly restore the most secure border in U.S. history just as we had three years ago. We had the strongest, most powerful, most secure border in the history of our country. Three years ago, we had the most secure. We built hundreds of miles of wall. It worked, by the way. Then we were, we were going to do... No, you didn't build hundreds of miles of walls. But the border is still secure. Biden is cracking down on asylum seekers. 200 more miles of wall in certain areas where we could see it was a little weaker than we wanted it. We started that. Could have been finished in three weeks if he did it. We had the stuff ordered. He took it away and hid it so that Texas and Arizona couldn't use it. Wow. Biden took the building supplies and hid them? I'm like, wow, that's crazy. And that's what I said. I guess they really do want open borders, and they actually want open borders, and nobody understands why. Why do you want to have people from prisons? Why do they want that? Why do you want people from prisons and mental institutions and insane asylums? That's a step above. That's silence of the lamb type, okay? No. Wow. Well, his, his descriptions of people that, that are institutionalized is wild. Uh, if... No. And it's not like the only people that are crossing the border are just, you know people from prisons or uh, mental institutions. That's just a crazy way to see all the the immigrants. But, you know, it just goes to show how people like Trump see brown people. Why do we want these people in our country? Why are we allowing them? And, you know, you have to see these other countries. They are I mean, they've never had it so good. Their prisons are emptied out into the U.S. They have no more costs. They don't want to take care of these people for 70 years, which is what you could have. I mean, they have this MS-13. You saw what happened yet? It's funny, huh? He wants, like, a truth uh, council, yet all he's doing right here is lying about people. It's just freaking funny. Yesterday with this killer, this thug, he was an MS-13. The level of violence, they called it demonic, demonic. 
The level of violence is incredible. We have become a dumping ground for the entire world. A, a dumping ground for the entire world? No, we have not become a dumping ground for the world. The money they saved, no prisons, no mental institutions. There was a story recently about a psychologist or psychiatrist, but a psychologist who worked in mental wards in South America. And he said, I worked 24, a good man, he worked 24 hours a day taking care of very mentally ill people. And he was sitting there reading a newspaper and they asked him, uh, what, what's he doing? He said, I have no more work. The people have all been let go into the United States. Can you believe? He, and he doesn't even cite any source. He just says he talked to somebody or read something and say, come on, dude. All he's doing is lying here, and this is just pretty hilarious. This is what we're doing. How stupid are we? Do what this is what we're doing. And this you pay for. I mean, sure, we can get a lot of them out, but this is what we're paying for. And the crime, the you have not seen anything. Wait till you see this. But he said they've let him go in the United States. But this is not true with the three or four countries that we think of. Honduras and Mexico, El Salvador. This isn't just that little area. This is all over the world they're letting them in. From all over the world. They're coming in. They're coming through the southern border. And we had it stopped. Right, because every single person from all around the world that, that, that just got out of prison or out of a mental institution is coming directly to the United States. Right, because that makes a whole lot of sense. That's not a total lie. Stopped up. One of the very first bills I signed will be for a massive increase in Border Patrol and colossal increase in the number of ICE deportation officers. It's funny how right-wingers are supposed to be about small government, and here is Trump saying, I will increase the size of the government, and everybody's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. we hate brown people. We're going to follow the Eisenhower model. People don't realize it with Eisenhower. He was very tough on illegal immigration. A lot of people don't realize that. He was really tough on illegal immigration. We will use all necessary state, local, federal, and military resources to carry out the largest domestic deportation operation in American history. And that's just disgusting. What one thing right-wingers don't care about, and also uh, some left-wingers, because, uh, you know, left-wing presidents also take part in mass deportations and stuff. But what happens is innocent people get caught up in, get caught up in these deportations because these ag agencies don't really care if the person is actually legal or not. Just trying to get rid of people that are uh, brown. And, it, and it's pretty sad, actually. And they'll take them back, too. You know that story. They weren't taking them back. And I said, good, if they don't take it, they weren't taking them back for decades. And the generals came up to me, sure, they won't take them back, sir. And I said, well, uh, do we give them any money, like any kind of subsidies or anything? Yes, sir, I'd like to find out. So it comes back $750 million. Yes, 750. So I said, listen, the three countries. I said, no more money for them starting this afternoon at 5 o'clock. The next morning, I got three calls from three presidents of three countries. Nice people. They're smart. I don't hold it against them. They got away with it for years. They put airplanes on the runways when we're flying in with prisoners or MS-13 people that are, you don't want in this country, believe me. These are vicious, vicious, the most violent gang in the world, probably. Mm, I would say the U.S. police. Almost definitely. And they put airplanes so you couldn't land the plane. So I said, uh, how much 750? I said, here's what we're doing. Immediately, you're going to stop payment of all money going to these. And obviously, none of this actually happened. Countries, you're going to stop payment now. Next day, I get three calls. The presidents of those countries, separate calls, totally. Sir, I understand there's a misunderstanding. Yeah, yeah, we want your MS-13 killers that you sent over here. We want them back. And we want everybody to go back to your country. We want them. We're going to bring them back. Uh, sir, uh, we'd be honored to take MS-13 back. We think they're lovely people. Uh, what seems to be the... Right. Says from the guy that calls Nazi 
Nazis, good people as well. Problem. No, no, we would love to take them back. Immediately opened up. Nobody has seen that for 25 years. It took me one night. We would be honored. It would be a great honor to bring back MS-13 so they can kill our people instead of yours. No, it's terrible. The people that... Right, because that conversation literally didn't happen between Trump and these presidents. It's all just a delusion in his head. Run our country are stupid people. I will ask every state and federal agency to identify every known or suspected gang member in America. And by the way, our police are incredible. Our firemen are incredible. Our police are incredible. And you know what? They know the bad ones. They are, they're in the cities. He's so if there are police that are found to be in gangs, will they be arrested or just given a pass? Cities, these Democrat-run cities are going to hell. The whole world is watching. But these police are incredible. They know the bad ones, but they don't want to lose their pension. They don't want to lose their wife or their husband. They don't want to lose their home. So they're told to stand back. But they know every bad one. They know everything about it. But I'll ask every state and federal agency to identify every known or suspected gang member in America and every one of them that is here illegally. The police know every one of them. And we'll pick them up and we'll send them back home where they came from. They'll be out of here. I see. Only wanting to deal with the, uh, you know, uh, gang members he considered to be illegal. And I will restore my travel ban to keep radical Islamic terrorists out of our country. You saw what happened. Four years. Four years we went. Four years. You saw that, right? We were very tough on that. We don't want our buildings blown up. We don't want to have problems. The Biden border crisis is also... A drug and fent Well, if you don't want buildings blown up, then you gotta do something about the radical Christians that are uh, bombing abortion clinics. Fentanyl crisis and a human trafficking crisis like never before, mostly with women, very sadly, mostly with women. And it's uh, now at the number is 12 times what it was three years ago, 12 times. We had it really down. We were so tough on that, what they do with women and two women. Under my administration, we reduced drug overdose deaths in New Hampshire by 18 percent. 18. We had it 15. Then we had it 18. And our first lady worked very hard on that, I will tell you. She worked very hard on that. <laughs>